it is fucking hot down here, probably because hell is is right next door. And hell makes for some lousy neighbors, am I right? <laughs> I've been underground for a year. A fucking year! So, what have I missed the last... Six... Forever. I don't know, Weasel. Let's look at the surface. You're right, voice in my head. Let's look at the surface. This was the scene outside Dodger Stadium just after 2 p.m. as a disruptive crowd pushing anti-vaccine messages and COVID conspiracy theories shouted down hundreds of people who'd been waiting for hours to get the COVID-19 vaccine. The protest reportedly interrupted the process for nearly an hour, infuriating <laughs> city officials and health experts <laughs> I'm never, I'm never going back up. I'm going to be stuck here forever. <laughs> Time to feed the trolls. Today's troll comes from the land of banned from everything. Owen Benjamin, a.k.a. Big Bear, AKA a guy who's actually proud to have been in Jack and Jill. Not even Adam Sandler is proud to have been in Jack and Jill. So what's Owen Benjamin's deal? So what's Owen Benjamin's deal? So what's Owen Benjamin's deal? I'm gonna just fucking stop trying to correct myself. So what the fuck is this guy's problem? Well, Owen Benjamin is some kind of alt-right fanatic who is a comedian in theory. He believes in chemtrails. He believes Barack Obama is gay. Believes 9-11 was a false flag attack. Believes Hillary and Bill Clinton have murdered dozens of people. Believes Sandy Hook, Parkland, and the Christchurch terror attacks were false flags. Believes CERN is a hoax to make money and hide secrets of God, which I don't even know how that's supposed to work. Believes women shouldn't be allowed to vote. Thinks he's smarter than every professor at Oxford. Thinks that Stephen Hawking died in the 80s and his body was just propped up on a wheelchair, believes in white genocide, and thinks that liberals are evil and Republicans are much smarter. So, you know, just your... Just a, just a big old barrel of fun. The video we're doing of his today doesn't have a title because it's just a snippet from a live stream. It was a different time, man. You're banned for life. Oh yeah, this is apparently another thing this dude likes to do, just ban people for mildly upsetting him. He's kind of like a snowflake, in a way. Just a pathetic little snowflake who needs a safe space away from everyone who disagrees with him. And he has a following somehow. Don't talk to me like that. It was a different time, man. Shut up. Bunch of losers saying it was a different time. We don't have to crap in the woods anymore. We have toilets. Yeah, shut up. Thank you, Walt Disney. Oh, I know. Meth Treehouse. I know, and that's why when I when I question, you know, the shape of the earth and stuff like that, and people are like, you're sh science. Oh, yeah, and he's also a flat earther because, of course, when you're a racist, homophobic, sexist, Islamophobic white supremacist who believes in literally every conspiracy theory. Why not be a flat earther too? Okay, you know how dinosaurs don't really exist? It was it was a choice between this guy and this guy and we'll be getting to him shortly, but I needed I needed a I needed a primer. I needed something that was 6 minutes not 17 minutes. They never existed. They were invented by the Royal Society in 1841. The first dinosaur bone officially discovered was in 1677, which is perfect because that's right around the time the Illuminati started becoming the world Something, something, something fake. The dinosaurs and the globe earth. The something, something dark side. Something, something complete. Fact. No one had ever found any dinosaur bones, and they still haven't. Which is why there are just so many. They don't exist. It's fake. Don't trust your eyes. All dinosaur bones are replicas made by chicken bones from China. That's a big fucking chicken bone. It's a 
True story. And you know why you can't use real dinosaur bones? Because they claim that they're still radioactive <laughs> because of the asteroid 66 million years ago. This isn't even fish in a barrel, folks. This is just barrel. So now that you realize that dinosaurs are already an absurd farce, <laughs> absurd guys. No, no. What's an absurd farce is that someone like you gets to be blessed with a full head of hair. When you look into the, the, the bone wars and how many of them have been proven false, there is not one single skeleton of a dinosaur that exists in the world. I could talk about the bone wars and how they were a real thing between two archeologists back in the turn of the century when science was kind of like the Wild West. And I could talk about how all the fake fossils were found out by real paleontologists. And I could talk about that after standing here for about 40 minutes going over all the evidence on my phone and doing just a little bit more research just to brush up on my history. But come on, this guy isn't worth that. So instead, I'll just show this picture of one dinosaur sniffing another dinosaur's cloacal vent because we, uh, we just discovered evidence that they may in fact have had penises. Just another exciting day in paleontology. None. You can right now be like, oh, well, my uncle found them, but you're, no, no, no. Don't believe your family members, believe this guy. The guy who thinks that nuclear weapons don't exist. <laughs> none. And, and the engineers have proven that none of these, none of the bodies would work. All the guts would fall out. Oh shit, really? A bunch of nameless engineers don't think that skeletons would have flesh covering the belly to keep the organs in? Oh fuck, well, I guess that means an entire field of science is fake and that the moon landing was a hoax. Like a brontosaurus, stegosaurus, all those giant, uh, and, and like a, a, a T-Rex would be incapable of doing anything. Oh, I don't know, it looks like it'd be quite capable of biting something. Like all their guts would fall out. They're, like the weight versus, like all the engineering is off to the point where they couldn't walk. These wouldn't happen to be the same engineers that built that AI that was designed specifically to slow down your outdoor streams. Yes, this is something he actually believes. Everyone's proven this, there's no dinos. So now that you know that there's no dinos and it's the most expensive comedy troupe in history, how funny is it that now dinosaur museums are making them uh, fuck in public? Oh no, two skeletons are fucking. That must mean that dinosaurs didn't exist. There is a museum in Spain that shows two T-Rex skeletons having sex. Yeah, I, I could see a Spanish museum doing that actually. Why wouldn't they? I mean, it's hilarious. Why wouldn't they? Why wouldn't they? Atmosphere was different, says guy who just got banned for life. That'll show him, Benjamin. It's not like he can just Make another account. Any Anybody that those arguments work on, you're all gone. You can't prove the earth was here 66 million years ago. I'm not saying it was or wasn't. But you are 80% sure that Ashton Kutcher is a murderer. But there's no evidence of anything, none. There's not even evidence that I'm sitting here. Oh my God. You can't carbon date fossils, they're stone. There's no actual living anything in them. Well, it really depends on how old the fossil is. I mean, there's carbon-14 dating, there's radiometric dating, there's relative dating, there's dating via index fossils, there's Tinder, there's all kinds of dating methods. You can't carbon, you, no one knows anything about timelines. This is all nonsense. It was invented by the Royal Society in 1841. You can look this up. Yeah, dude, look it up on the internet that you also think is controlled by the Royal Society. So why wouldn't you make them bang? If you've already like done these, because the thing about wizards. What? Wizards? But, what? 
I swear I did not skip ahead. Is they get bored. T-Rex skeletons having sex. Oh yeah, this is in public museums. I like how they made both of the skeletons have like open mouths, like they're just enjoying it. Like I'm just imagining some future archeologist digging up two random people and going, eh, uh, this one will be fucking that one. And just posing them on a reconstructed mattress, just like, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm sure they were related, they don't mind. You think there are like two Tyrannosaurus ghosts that are just like looking at each other really awkward? Why wouldn't you? Like if you're, if you've just committed these frauds and people buy it, you know, people are like, I know people that have degrees in which they're paying off debt to this day. Yeah, it's an unfortunate reality, but we live in a country that does not value higher education uh, to such degree that it subsidizes it. I, I agree, that's terrible. In paleontology, they have whole degrees in things that are lies. Which is why the oil industry hires those people because oil is also a lie. It's, it's like, like those things that you're looking at right there, those skeletons don't exist. They've never found a single skeleton like that. Okay, you're not wrong that they've never found two Tyrannosaurus skeletons that were killed and buried in sediment midway through coitus. Like, okay, I'll give you that one. We've never found specifically skeletons in that position. You're correct probably the first time this year. They're all invented, all. You know, it's, it's, it's insane. Was there a uh, giant beast that used to exist that don't exist? Yeah, I, I think there was dragons. I think that there was uh, giants. So, dragons are real. But dinosaurs, totally fake. Oh, and wizards are also real. I think that there was all kinds of shit, not dinosaurs. Because giants, dragons, wizards, all of that, that's all very much grounded in reality. But dinosaurs are just stupid. I mean, there were no dinosaurs in Skyrim. So why would there be dinosaurs in reality? Just go back to kindergarten. You don't know anything. Pfft. Dinosaurs. Anyway, I'm gonna go ride my dragon. That's uh, that's slang for. And they have, and their timeline was created just to push. Think about how valuable the dinosaur narrative was. It pushed evolution because it gave a giant timeline which is why they were finding them before the theory of evolution had been thought up so it allowed people to abandon free will and common sense when it came to genetic mutation free will and common sense when it comes to genetic mutation okay i I don't think you know what any of that means. Like people would say, well, how can someone go from being a, you know, bacteria to a human being? And they're like, time. Well, time and environmental selective pressures and geological events. But yeah, the, the big key ingredient there is time. And it's like, I mean, I can talk to my great grandparents and, and they're like, no, uh, millions of years. I'm sorry that the time scales involved in biological evolution do not correlate with the average human lifespan. Sorry. Or you can just look at what we've done in a lab and what we've observed in nature. Uh, you can just look at that and see speciation right there uh, within our lifetimes. Boom. Ah, but right, right. The scientists are Illuminati time travelers that have come from the Satan future to make it so you have to ban people on your live streams. 
It's all so obvious. It's all so obvious. I honest, I can't believe I didn't see it. I can't. I can't. I can't. I, I'm obviously just fucking dumb. That I, I just, I couldn't see it. I couldn't see it. How could I have been so blind? Billi billions. Is, is billion a number? Um, yeah. No, billion is a number. In fact, there's even a number that's higher than billion. I know, scary stuff. But hey, when a wizard wants to make a number, a wizard can make a number. And it also pushed the fossil fuel narrative. They said that the uh, decomposing dinosaurs is what oil is. Uh, no, no, your oil is not made from the putrefied flesh of unfortunate dinosaurs that were caught in landslides during their honeymoon. No, it's, it's made of compression of eons and eons worth of conifer forests. Just over time, just compressing that organic material down until it was turned into just straight up carbon. That, that's what oil is. It's got, it's nothing to do with, with rotting dinosaur meat. Um, and it also pushed fear porn of asteroids. By the way, the odds that you die from an asteroid is zero. Um, they've never killed anybody. That's true. No one has ever been directly killed by a meteorite. I mean, except for possibly in 1888. And that there's that at any time there could be an earth shattering event that just is an asteroid that they come randomly and for no reason. The NASA teams up with that and is like another asteroid barely missed the earth. Why? Because if you're scared, you're in a constant state of animal. All right. Well, one, what? And two, isn't keeping people like fearful of everyday everything sort of what you do? I mean, isn't that what conspiracy theories are all about? Trying to make people afraid of the other in the shadow. I'm sorry, it just seems kind of funny coming from someone who seems to be perpetually scared of mean comments or just any opinion that disagrees with you that you think NASA is making people constantly in a state of animal? You are an animal, genius. You're a human animal. They're trying to make you an animal all the time. Why? Control and pain. And it's also Luciferianism. Oh yeah, sure. NASA is Luciferian. Oh my God, if you spin the NASA logo upside down and you add detail to it, it's a pentagram, holy shit. But if you're gonna pull off this hoax, you're gonna get bored eventually. Like imagine knowing the dinosaurs are fake. So imagine that I have severe head trauma. And you have to just pretend and you're just like, I've just uncovered another Stegosaurus toe from you. You know what? Screw it. Just make them fuck. Where? Publicly. Make little kids look at it. Why? Don't ask questions. Just do it. I'm bored and I'm full of rage. And that's why we have a museum exhibit of two dinosaurs fucking. It's because somewhere out there, a paleontologist got bored and was also into scaly. Anyway, this is Cute Fuzzy Weasel. I uh, hope you enjoyed that wonderful video. I wanted to do something a little bit lighter, given the year started off with a real fucking societal collapse. If you like this video, you can hit the like bell and comment subscribe down at the channel center. And if you really want to help me out, you can support me on Patreon. Remember, Patrons get to see these episodes two days early. So all these people got to watch this, hopefully Friday. I say hopefully Friday. Editing this is sort of like, you know, sliding a piece of paper between two concrete blocks. It's, it's really tight. Anyways, cute fuzzy weasel, have a good day.